everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new hi I'm Mand so today is more a crafty journaly kind of video so feel free to prop me up or just listen or grab your own journal and we will get into what we're going to create today so today's video I actually took inspiration from and I have it on my toddler here beside me planning with Kay her channel is my new favorite channel. I just found her, la no, last week? Last week, I think it was. And I'm obsessed with watching her videos. Oh my gosh. I'm going down a whole journal rabbit hole. And I so totally want to definitely incorporate more journal style art magic type videos as well here. So I hope you kind of like those style of videos and that you'll stick around. That you're not just here just for deck. While I do cover that, I do want to become far more aware of the overconsumption and the overbuying <laughs> of decks and how I am trying to be more mindful. And definitely, I am leaning more into finding magic in the mundane and finding magic in creating and creating magical moments within my own life. And I like creating pretty things, I like having pretty things and I like making them as well. As most of you know, like I've started my own oracle deck which is just a process in of itself. I have like my lovely little manifesting altar type bookcase type little thing that I've made that I must actually readjust and you know rejig some of the things that I want to manifest. But I thought today's video was a great one and again I'm taking inspiration, this isn't my own idea. Well most of you know I do. And I will show you, practice gratitude. So that's not something that um, is new here. I do have my own little gratitude journal. It's a 2024 day a page. That sounds weird actually, it should be page a day. But anyway, <laughs> journal. Yeah, it is on the side here. Oh no, it's not, it's anyway. Where I write down each one of my gratitude. Some days I miss and whatnot and I love this with planning with Kay and so I thought maybe we could <laughs> I dropped my book. Okay. I thought maybe we could do that as well while taking inspiration from her own. So I'm gonna share this here. I'm not very fancy with editing. I don't I don't know how to add that in. I will learn it eventually, but for now we're just gonna go with me showing you on my tablet. So as you can see, she has her gratitude, ten ten things that make me happy. A happy moment this week is something I'm enjoying, something I'm proud of and a good thing I can do for myself and then she has like a little affirmation which I really like the idea of. So of course I'm going to add my own twist to this but this is the general idea. She also creates her own stickers and stuff. I'll tag her channel below and I thoroughly enjoyed watching this so much that I was like I want to create my own magical gratitude little page in my own journal so as you can see here is let's move that journal that tablet out of the way for a minute I should have just put it beside me <laughs> um this is my own journal she's chunky um I kind of write all kinds of things, whether it's from daily journaling to making pretty pages and stuff like that. And I was kind of just sick of having just written pages. I, I wanted to make them pretty. I wanted to do something a little bit more because I, I'm thinking of getting one of the bullet journals. I can't think of the name of it. It begins with an L. And I know it has like 1917 in it. Is it a Lickstrom or something like that? I know I'm butchering the name, but it's a dot grid journal. This is just a plain journal that I got from like Littles, I think. Actually, no, I lie. I think my Oma gave me this. And I wanted to see would I use it enough. And as you can see, I do use it enough. So I could nearly warrant <laughs> getting a bullet journal. As you know, I like making journals, but I also like having a journal that's already made up. And this has held up pretty well considering all the the stuff that is in it. So I just stuck some stickers on it. The back is pretty plain and very dirty because again, I craft. So this would be on a my cutting mat. So I just want to see what can I show. Okay, so this is like my little intro. And then what I did do is I had an old calendar. Now I don't use this. I don't even refer to this. I just wanted to see could I make it. I can <laughs> and so it looks pretty in fairness it really does look pretty I did want to put 2024 in it but that just oh no hold on 
Oh yeah, there, I do have 2024. I was like, I thought I put that in. But um, I'm not sure what happened here with this. But anyway, I really liked how these turned out. It actually makes it look super pretty. And a second, let me make sure again, I can show certain things. So as you can see, for example, my goals and intentions are blank. And then I also had like little fill in spots that I wanted to, um, writing and then I also I started with writing down books I read I've read more than three books this year I promise you but I haven't written in anymore so I need to go through my list and like fill it in and then I went on to January so I was great for a while with doing cover pages okay so I actually had to cut out that last last little bit because I did have things that I actually don't <laughs> Um, I didn't want to share here so I'm going to try this again and I'm covering it up slightly but as you can see like I did a little cover page here um, and then kind of what my vision board was and things like that so that is kind of what my journal looks like and then I just have like little tidbits of where I just journaled I even have like little things that I have put in like leaves and stuff like that so I want to make it pretty because as of late, I've only just been writing in it and I want to make a nice pretty page. So my pages are kind of um, clear, so I'm gonna go two pages on. I am gonna remove these. These are <laughs> little leaflets and stuff like that um, from different things in Ireland that we picked up that we wanted to do. We actually did that, the Lusitania Museum, and that was actually really good. And we did the Michael Collins House Museum in Clonakilty, which was very cool as well. So they were supposed to be put in for journaling aspects. And there's also a pocket that I have in the back here. So as you can see, I have like our tickets from Valencia Island. We actually did Valencia Island. So if you're in Kerry, highly recommend doing the lighthouse there. And there's like little tidbits and whatnot in here as well. I'm trying to see what else. What else? Oh yeah, we got um as you can see I love collecting like little postcards and things like that for my journal. So I just pop it in here <laughs> and we'll try again like maybe in the new year with a better journal. But for now, for now, we are going to make a cute gratitude page together. So as you can see, mine is not a dot grid. I wanna see, can you yes, I'm gonna push that in a little bit. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take my very dirty stencil page and because my lettering sometimes isn't the best, I am going to use my stencil. So I'm going to actually take this out. Sometimes I use it just as is, but I'm actually going to take this page out because I need to and hopefully not lose all my pages. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick a color, some ink. You could do, I reckon you could do this with like gel pens or markers, paints if you want to. Whatever really takes your fancy, I would say. And like Kay's page, I am going to do it across this way. So, where is my G? So, gratitude, I need to spell it out because guarantee I will spell it wrong. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm gonna do it across here. I'm gonna just double check everything. Okay, so I decided I want to use purple ink. I need to roll up my sleeves, I'm just that person. <laughs> and so I actually have my tablet beside me because I'm like, I actually need to refer back to that. And so she has the eye in the middle. So I was thinking I might as well start off with the eye in the middle and then work my way back. Now I have one of these dabbers. Um, I know it has pink on it, but I was like, maybe the hint of pink might come true. And instead of like, just trying to smear all of this. Now, I'm hoping this will work the way it is in my head. Otherwise, I do have like a makeup sponge that I'm like, yeah, that will work beautifully. Okay, that worked pretty good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to write the rest of it out. I'll come back to you. Okay, so um, 
that kind of smeared a little bit but what I'm going to pretend is that it adds character plus I don't have the grids to refer back to uh, to help <laughs> to help with that so I am going to take my Tombow and I'm terrified to do this now but I wouldn't mind like hers trying to make my colours pop oh no I want to use the little nib one so the finer tip and just, my journal feels a little bit far away from me. Outlining. The shadow aspect and It really is a case of just wanting to make it pop more than anything I feel like this would be. Um, yeah, and it will do. Again, it's your journal, so you don't have to make it perfect. I have no problems with it being kind of Again, the paper on this isn't the best. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're making a mess already. Okay. Plus this ink takes a little bit to dry. But like I said, I wanted to make sure that I would use this kind of journal before I went off and got like a proper... A proper um, bullet journal is the word I'm looking for. Okay, hers is far more prettier than mine, I will say that. <laughs> but... I'm going to do it this way anyway. <laughs> And we'll highlight that and that and this little bit here and this bit and then do the curve here. Hoping you guys can see. Maybe I should have used my uh, the ticker marker, but anyway, that's okay. It's not supposed to be like a hundred percent perfect either. I'm okay with that as well. So I want to pick some washi tapes that I feel like are going to work. My squeaky chair <laughs> with the sides here. Or maybe we could do the decorating after. Maybe we'll do the writing first. So again, like I said, my lettering is not the best. So I'm going to use stamps where I can. So I'm going to just use my little stamp here. No, not this ink. I'm going to use my little alphabet and I'm going to go line and where's my zero? Here's my zero. <coughs> and I just realized she decorated under hers. So because I'm stamping mine, I'm actually going to leave it. I'm not going to do that and I need this pen. Oh the professionalism here. Okay so I'm going to use this pen that I find is very good. So that is 10. Things. That. 
make me and then I'm gonna stamp happy underneath it I can never unless I have a guideline I can't stamp <laughs> very straight at all So we kind of still have that junk journaly feel. So I am going to go down to 10. So I'm going to go one and uh, oh, two. I'm hoping, hoping it'll all fit here. Three, four. Oh, this happens sometimes and I hate having to re-stamp over. Oh, that worked. That actually worked. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. I like that. I like how that looks. So, because we're going with purple, I'm going to use my purple Tombow. And so, things that make me happy. So, number one is, I'm actually going to write with the bigger side. Is Jamie. And then... What else makes me happy? Crafting. My online community. Oh. So you stop and think that you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I have lots of things that make me happy. My deck collection. Reading books. Coffee. Oh, road trips. I love a good road trip. I love the changes in the season. What else do I love? I love I love so much stuff. Um what else that makes oh pasta. That's out of food one as well. Pasta. I love pasta. Okay, I took inspiration from Kay there because she is lasagna. I'm like, I don't really like lasagna, but I love pasta. Okay, so then she has a moment this, happy moment this week. So what I might do is I might, okay, <laughs> let's try and, and write it here. So, oh no, I want the other side. So, oh, she has it done in, in black markers so I'm gonna do it in black marker as well a happy moment this week and um oh my gosh 
something. I'm enjoying. And a good thing I do for myself. Right, so my writing is to be desired, I know. So a happy moment this week is finding moments of beauty in the mundane. Something I'm enjoying. Journaling and creating. And a good thing I do for myself. Oh, a good thing. I can do for myself. Okay, so I'll leave it as a good thing I do for myself is learning when I need to. Oh, slow down. We're going to go with the bad writing because I want to show everyone that you don't always need to have aesthetically pleasing writing to be able to turn up, okay? And she wrote a lovely affirmation and so I am going to pull an affirmation card myself from my She Loves. And Oh, where's my card? Here. Oh, <laughs> So I'm going to pop that little affirmation into it. So I am going to just, you know what? I want to write it in pink actually. I know she's done it like all kind of really creative and stuff, but I want to do it this way. I want to kind of add my own change. Only for myself race all aspects of myself and so I hope you're getting into that feeling of gratitude and really thinking about the things that you are grateful for. Because I know I have a lot to be grateful for. While it's easy to find the things that grate our nerves and really test our patience, I'm not going to lie. I definitely have had a couple of weeks where uh, I could have done with a few moments like this myself. That I just took time to just be and to craft and create because I want to and because I want to make something pretty for myself and that I enjoy, I enjoy making nice pages while it's important to get these things out and on paper and it doesn't matter how it looks aesthetically, it doesn't I also like <laughs> aesthetically pleasing so I'm turning off that tablet now because I want the free the freedom <laughs> to craft and create as I see so I was thinking this looks kind of cute. I kind of like the purples that are going on here. But at the same time, I'm not sure do I love these ones. I like this moon. So maybe we can go with that. And that pop of pink. Is anybody else noticing it? <laughs> I feel like it's standing out to me. So I'm going to pick a couple of stickers and things like that. And I will be back to you. Okay. <laughs> So I thought I'd pop up. So I had some of these stickers, but I feel like they're gonna work well here. 
and I'm missing washi tapes and whatnot. Oh, this looks beautiful. I feel like this one's going to work so, so well here instead. Maybe with this pop of pink. It actually has writing on it. Never mind. So I will search the universe is what it actually says. So you know what? Heck, why not? We're going for it. So I feel like this is going to work really pretty on this. So I don't know where, maybe, I feel like I want a thicker, that's okay, we can use that elsewhere. I kind of want, yeah, no, I have a pink one, <laughs> so I have this pink one that I am going to add to the side here. That looks really good and I'm gonna oh I'm knocking over my washies now. Hey my aesthetics come back. And I'm gonna chop that off. <laughs> and do the other side with just a little one. Yeah, we'll just do that lopsided, okay. do like a tiny bit pop of glitter because heck today we're just going with the glitters I don't think I've used this one before so oh I like that <laughs> and that's what it's about it's just about it being kind of fun and you enjoying the process The process of it <laughs> and let's add that here so I hope you're crafting along with me and you're kind of just enjoying this little bit of time oh that doesn't go in there and I'm trying to see what do I want to add to the bottom of this before I add my sticker here I feel like you know what we should go with a little bit of groovy don't you think more of a groovy uh, type. Why not? It looks, it really looks the part. And it just looks so happy. And that's what I want. I want my gratitude page to be like a happy page. So I am going to Somewhat said that. <laughs> and the same with this. To an extent. And I don't know, do I like that there? I definitely like this here, so maybe I can put this here. This one looks cute there. I don't think this goes with the theme that I'm going with. So I'm going to put that back. And I'm actually going to have a look through my apothecary and we can do that together <laughs> and we can see what works maybe you have this book as well Oops. we'll just wreck the house while we're at it And it's just trying to find really nice pretty stickers that I feel like just just go with the page it's nothing to do it doesn't have to be in the state or in the art of gratitude or anything like that I just feel like anything that kind of works with it I like this little moon here I feel like this might actually work in this little space here Sorry, my dogs were going to start barking. I knew it. So I did pick out two more stickers. So I feel like this would look super cute over here. And maybe just a feather here. I'm going to stick this down as well. So I just kind of want to show that I suppose you don't have to have a bunch of stickers. 
or be totally artsy and crafts kind of a type <laughs> to make it look pretty. Now I know I have some stickers in this book for anybody that is interested. I know I had, I've had this with ages and I've seen these little flowers so I kind of, of course I want to add a flower all the same. Um, I feel I was drawn to this one so I don't know how well this is going to work. Oh these are kind of cute. Let's do a small one or two down the side. So I feel like that is beginning to look really cute. I have an awful habit of just holding on to these <laughs> for what, I don't know. I mean, the whole point is to pop it in your journal and make your journal look pretty. Like I can get more stickers if needs be, you know. So I kind of, <laughs> I have to, I have to admit, I like the kind of chaosness of that. And because I'm extra like that, I am going to add in these these gold leaves as well, because there's no point in buying stickers if I'm not going to use them. Oh, what is the point? What is the point at all? And you wouldn't even know. So I hope you enjoyed this guys and that your gratitude page is just as pretty. <laughs> I feel like some of these are going to have to be glued down but don't feel like you have to have everything so aesthetically pleasing or make it look totally whatever I feel like I want to move that now but anyway <laughs> maybe this is supposed to be up here ah, that works lovely and if your gratitude list is only like one thing or 10 things or 50 things or maybe it's just a tiny list that's okay too don't feel like you need to make these things so big and elaborate it's just something that's super pretty that I thoroughly enjoy. I like to show that I too make mistakes and I'm not going to start over just because I did a typo. That is life. That happens. And aren't I lucky that I have a journal that I can make mistakes in and that it's okay and it's not the end of the world. So I hope you enjoyed this and it was relaxing and enjoyable. And thank you so much to the wonderful Planning with Kay for such a fabulous idea. I really, really enjoyed her video. I enjoy all of her videos. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be back into that passion of creating journals and pages, I would say, again. So it's great to have that kind of crafty, artistic flair. So I hope you enjoy and sending you so much love and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.